Guys, I've been up and down looking throughout the neighborhood this morning because we have a big situation, guys. Today, we have lost Humberto the tortoise. If you guys have been on my channel recently, you would know that I moved into a new place. We have a big sulcata tortoise and well, we did lose him this morning. I've been going around this morning putting up these signs in hopes that somebody has seen him. Obviously, he's a huge tortoise. He's pretty slow moving, but if he got out when I think he got out, he could have gone really far and he could have gone into this jungle here. This is an undeveloped property next to our house, which is honestly better than him going out to the street because the busy street over here has so many cars and so much traffic on it. I don't think he would make it across. If he were to have come down this way, he could have tucked himself up under here where this fence lifts up from this route and gotten into this property. Now, if he did that, he would probably be gone forever. But I'm hoping with these signs that we're putting up, guys, that somebody has seen him or somebody will see him and give us a call because the more eyes we have in the neighborhood, the better. You can't miss this big tortoise guy. And if somebody has seen him, they hopefully will let us know. So I've got to go print more signs. Let's head to the house. I didn't realize how many of these documents of these signs we would need to put around. So. I printed the first batch, now I've got to go do the second batch and go put them up and keep looking around, guys. To lose Humberto, especially now just moving in, he was going to be such a huge part of this channel and I know we can find him if we just keep our eyes out and get the neighborhood to help us out. So. Let me show you guys how he escaped the yard. We basically made this a fortress so that the chickens, the duck, and the tortoise, and any other animals we decide to get, obviously can stay here and won't be able to find a way out. So we have this gate over here that goes to the front, and this one is totally secure. But on this side of the house, going out to the front yard, well, this is a different story. While they were doing work here this morning, we told them to secure this fence back up. Basically, this is supposed to be a gate. They cut this down a little while ago, and well, they haven't made the gate yet because of delays. We just had a hurricane down here in South Florida praying for the people in Fort Myers, but this was supposed to be done before. The people who did yard work here this morning while I was gone, Renzo was gone, Jonah was gone, now they didn't put this fence back properly and you can see where the tortoise could have gotten out. We had this all blocked off way better than this, but the people who are doing the work here just didn't put it together properly as instructed. And well, you can see now we have a problem. If I could fit through this, definitely Humberto could fit through this gap. Look at this. Now, we are out to the front yard, and Humberto could be anywhere. Hello? Hi, I know this is going to sound really, really strange. Okay guys, so somebody has seen Humberto. Somebody has seen my tortoise but we don't know exactly where. I was just talking with the police department and well, typically for a turtle, you wouldn't report it to the police, but a big turtle like Humberto, you might want to report that to the police as a lost pet. And somebody has called saying that he was by the water. So we're gonna go check the canal right now. We are on Humberto's trail now and guys, the biggest part of trying to find this guy, we don't know which direction he headed when he left our house. If he went left, right, straight but now if he was seen by the water that gives us a good heading so let's check where this canal ending is and see if he's there we are over here by the water now and i do not see humberto there's not many places where this canal runs it basically ends here so this would be the only place he could access. Now he might have come and left here. The police report was made an hour ago and they don't have that guy's number to give me. They said it's confidential for some reason. I'm just trying to find my tortoise. I don't know what the big deal is, but I'm looking around here. I'm thinking he could be down this way, but I really don't know. He might be in some of this deeper grass here, but you would think you'd be able to see him. He's a huge tortoise, but just if he tucks up under this grass, he might be able 
to disappear. So we've got to come down here just to check this area off this list. He's probably already been through here. I don't think I see him over there. And I don't see him over here. As we're driving around, I figured we'd put up more signs. If Humberto was seen in this area, well, putting up a sign here is obviously a good idea that hopefully the guy who's seen him can call me directly because working through the police is a little bit hard. They don't really care about the tortoise as much as they care about crime and different things that they typically deal with. So hopefully somebody will reach out. I've got this big bin in the bed of the truck in case we do find this guy. Hopefully we'll just be able to pick him right up, bring him back home. You wouldn't think there'd be that many places for him to hide in the city like this, in all of these built up houses, but any little bush just like this, he could be hiding in and we would never be able to see him. The best and basically the only thing we can do right now is put up more signs. I just hope he doesn't get out to this busy street. We're back at the house. I've just finished putting up all the signs and you guys didn't even see the half of what I've been through since finding that the tortoise was gone, guys. I've been up and down this neighborhood, driving, walking, crawling through bushes, looking up and under everybody's hedges, literally looking for him everywhere and I don't know where he went. So the best thing that we can do now that we have the signs up is wait for somebody to see this big guy. You can't miss him and hopefully they give us the call and we'll be available to head there as soon as possible. One eternity later. Guys, I don't believe it. Look at the picture that Renzo just sent me. I'll throw the picture up here on the screen if this video is even to get posted. I don't really like filming things like this because this is ultimately my fault. Bad things do happen, but I do like sharing everything that kind of happens in my life with you guys, especially animal related. But we've got the keys in here. The keys. We have the keys. Let's go head to see where this guy is. You guys aren't gonna believe this. Look who we have found. Oh. And you're just eating away, aren't you? You're just eating up, eating up the grass, huh? What are you doing? Did you have yourself a nice walk this morning? We have found him, guys. I don't know why he was leaving. I know he'd been trying to push out of that fence for so long. Basically, the picture was sent by one of Renzo, my roommate's friends. They just saw him in a driveway down the street. He was working this way. I didn't have time to film for you guys because I was hot on the trail. Look how fast he's moving. It's kind of slow, but he can cover some ground quickly. And just like I said, bushes like that behind me or these ones up here, he could disappear any second. So before he gets any further, Humberto, you are in big trouble, mister. Stop right there. Stop right there. Okay, or keep going. Humberto, we've got to get you home. We have got him, oh, big guy. You are heavy, sir. You are not the lightest guy in the world. I think he should fit inside of here. Okay. Door is coming through. I have no idea how you made it so far, sir. Guys, we are significantly far from my house and it hasn't even been that long that he's been gone. I mean, it's been a couple hours, but I didn't think he could get that far. You were on the move. <sighs> Such a relief. I, I really didn't know if I was gonna post this if we didn't find him, because for me, it is just so heartbreaking to lose an animal like that. I am better than that. With my experience, I should not have left those guys doing the yard work in charge of securing the yard for the tortoise. They don't know what it takes to keep this guy in. He's a bulldozer. He's a wrecking ball. He gets through everything. You are going straight into the garage, my friend, because you are not breaking out again. So we have Humberto back. He's in the garage for now because he needs to be in there so he doesn't break out of jail again. Pablo, are you happy? You're very talkative this morning. 
Guys, I am relieved. I am just glad that we've got him back. He's safe. He's not getting into the street where there's cars. The guy is coming to fix this fence, create this gate today, actually, of all times. So everything is back to normal now. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and all my stress of going through this morning, I guess thanks for watching. Leave a little like if you want to. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. And well, I will see you in the next adventure. Peace.